Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Novarte, your host and creator of this little show called Sketch Party. We're going to premiere next Saturday, Saturday, June 20th at 10 a.m. We're going to go live that day. Right now, this is just recording. I hope you come by that day because it's just going to be tons of fun. We'll be just sketching just quick sketches. Just no, no pressure. They don't have to be finished pieces or anything like that. This is a place or we'll all get to experiment and learn, myself included. It's all about doing because it's all about practice, practice, practice. If you want to get better, practice, practice, practice. Um, so use your iPad or any other digital tools that you have. Um, I'm going to be using Procreate on my iPad Pro with my Apple Pencil. Um, you can use MetaBang Pro. Um, Autodesk Sketchbook, Photoshop, you know, with a Wacom tablet, whatever works for you. Um, and if, even if you don't have any of those digital tools, um, a pencil and paper will do just fine. I just want you to be able to put marks down on a, on, on a piece of paper. Okay. So, and also don't worry about if you think you can't draw. I believe everyone can draw. If you can draw a line, which I know you can do, because if you write, like you can write an I, you can draw. So this is also a perfect place for artists who may be suffering from art block. We'll be drawing from um, random prompts and each of us will come up with different sketches, different inter interpretations of that prompt. And um, after that, we'll even have a show and tell. Um, I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with because it's gonna be really cool. And I'd like to show an example of how that's gonna happen. So what, ha what I'm gonna be using is something called Random Word Generator. Um, and it's gonna come up with these two, I have it set to, two nouns um, so it'll come up with two random nouns here at, as I click on this button so let's try it and then see what we come up with I hope it's something simple for this example <laughs> hold on economics information yeah well let's think about it economic see and this is what I want to get out of this show. It's not just about um, exercising our drawing skills. Um, it's also um, expressing our minds and, you know, and, 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 and working out our imagination to connect what we're trying to illustrate to these random prompts, you know? So I would argue the weirder, the better, you know? So, Economics information. Let's go to Procreate and let's try it. Um, let me write. Oops. Economics information. Hmm. Let's think about this. Economics obviously has something to do with, with money, information, learning, um, facts, things like that, things of that nature. Let's think here. What about, I got an idea. I do have an idea. Um, Economics information. Obviously, so I'm going to do something with a like a, a dollar sign thing.
See, I'm really just really messy right now. And that's that's okay. That, that's what it is. It's a sketch, right? Continuation of this line down here. Make it seem cohesive. So what I think I'm going to be getting at right now is this is a building, a place of information, like a school of economics. You know, I'm going to trash this. I think I have an idea of that I want this S, this dollar sign thing to be different. More like a building. Right now, let's just look really basic right now. This building has to be 3D. And um, thinking that, you know, it's, it's a building, it's definitely got to have some windows, right? You don't have to do every one, like a lot of windows, you can just, you do enough to kind of just hint that they are windows, that there's a pattern. A lot of the times, what ends up happening is that, you know, people abandon a drawing too soon. They don't put enough detail into it. You know, by that time, um, you know, you got, you've, you've sort of missed out on what the potential of the drawing could be, right? Um, so here we go. Let me let me move this out of the way. I 
something in it. This is gonna be some like higher school of learning. Um, like a university of some kind. So this might be the main building of the campus. Well, you know, dollar sign is not the only symbol of uh, money. We can have something like a cent mark I don't know what the actual term of that is mark is if it has like a I mean I don't even know what a dollar sign is um, actual real term is right you know how like a the and sign is actually called an ampersand mark Wondering. you go international on this too you know maybe we can do like yens or the pound from, from England. Oh, here, look. Ooh, the euro. Let's see. The franc, see the pound is uh, a little squiggly L. Let's do that. Where things that I've done so let's just get the basic shape of it and then we have to have this um you have the perspective still going. Kinda grounded on the the horizon line I got there. afraid of using the, the, the eraser and those of you who are using regular pen and, and paper um, pencil and paper I meant uh, you should probably you know just be sketching really lightly so that you can erase it later on
and it's okay to be really messy here. Sometimes I approach drawing more like it's actually sculpting rather than drawing. To me, a line is malleable, that you can uh, twist it and turn it. And if it's a straight line, it means one thing. If it's a curved line, it means another thing. Um, a uh, jagged line means a whole, a whole other thing, right? So maybe we do circle windows for this. Yeah. Let's be really imagine imaginative. Three D ish part right there, and it looks like there should be a, something down here as well. As it goes down, it's established into the ground. It's kind of cool. So don't worry about being loose. It's all about being loose right now because even for um, Especially for digital, it's e it, you know, it's easy because you can just add another layer on top of this, make more adjustments. We can just do regular buildings, you know, to give it some context, right? These can be really light, kind of just in the background. Deprioritize them. Kind of be kind of a cityscape sort of thing, right? Main campus of a big giant financial center of the world. Let's 
thicken these lines and just make this bigger. My brush bigger to make these eyes stand out a little bit more. I think I need one more. I think we were going to do a euro, right? Yeah. Let's stack the euro on top here, something like this. Maybe, how do we connect these guys? Some sort of scaffolding. tons of details come in you know make it more interesting because right, you start off with things you know you don't want to make you want to make sure you re you leave room for details like let's think that you know there's some buildings in the background here still So there, I mean, you know, it's just something simple and it came out from nothing really, right? Um, be really cool, just. Sort of ground it with some. shadows and stuff. There we go. That's my interpretation of economics information. Um, might be
totally different from what you thought, you know, um, but still valid, you know. Um, I, again, this is just not just a, a workout for your drawing skills, it's a workout for your imagination and your thought patterns because that's what we're doing. We're um, creating illustrations based, you know, to represent things. And um, that's what I want to do with this show. I know it's just going to be so fun. So come on by, you know, it's a party. There's no cover fee, no velvet rope to get past, uh, no bouncer to have to sweet talk to your way into the club. So check it out. We're live next Saturday, June 20th at 10 a.m. Thanks a lot.